Greetings and salutations everyone, Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. In the last episode, we started the game and got a really good way through all of level 1 and about more than halfway through level 2. So, in this episode we are going to be taking on level 2-5. Also we're going to be getting on to the boss of this area as well as move on to level 3. Let's see if I can get it. Yes! Alright, parasol! The sun shines on this parasol of mine. Where I walk, enemies balk? Bop. Walk. Balk. Okay. Enemies balk, and I float gently down. Yes, when you have uh, the parasol ability, you actually dis uh, your descent actually slows down, and you have this little animation here, and it's really cute. Enjoy my parasol! Let's... okay, just medicine. Actually, I could go for that medicine. By the way, if you didn't already know... Uh, if you are a fan of the Kirby series, it, um, allow me to, uh, either, uh, restate the obvious or, um, or give you brand new information, but, uh, yeah! A new Kirby game is actually going to be on the 3DS. I believe it's called, uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe or Triple Danger or something like that? Uh, whatever it is. I'm really looking forward to it, uh, and I know that a lot of Kirby fans will also be looking forward to it, so yeah! If you haven't tried out Kirby and you have a 3DS, well then, go for it! Uh, when it comes out uh, in the US, go for it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Everything's coming at me and flying every single which way and I can't stop! Alright, so, uh, these silver blocks here can only be broken by certain copy abilities, and Wheel just happens to be one of them. Other abilities that can break those are, um, Burning, Hammer, and shooting a regular star at it. Oh, and, um, and Rock! I know, Stone! Stone can do that too. Sorry, uh, getting things confused. Hi, Jump! Big jump equals big tackle! Short, sweet, to the point. Hey! Whee! I'm a superhero! Ow! That hurt. Actually, I want to get uh, Crash again. There we go. Warning! Oh, on use only as a last resort. Okay, then. There goes some Poppy Brothers Juniors. Hey. And I'm out of here! Okay! So I still have the crash ability, and we're going on to the boss! This'll be fun! All right, the Roller Painter, I believe is what his name is. Wow, it did half of his health. Sweet. Yeah. Ow. Ah. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. It's a cloud. No. Stop it! Yeah! I got him! Victory is mine! Level 3, Butter Building! Alright, so, as you probably noticed, um, each one of the levels has a particular title that has to do with food and then some sort of location. Um, there was Vegetable Valley, there was Ice Cream Island, and now there's Butter Building. As you can see, all of them had to do with a combination of words that have to do with a particular food, I mean food or food type, and then a location. But also, the beginning letters are the same. Vegetable Valley, V and V. Ice Cream Island, I and I. Well, technically, I-C-I, but 
regardless, I and I, and then Butter Building, B and B. So yeah, just little little interesting things like that. It's they're always nice to kind of take note of. I'm going to die here so quickly because everything is going to try to kill me. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. Tick tock of the clock. Wow. I was going to. Ah! I do not want to get hit. Yeah! <sighs> I love Kirby. It's so fun. Alright, so up there is um, is a secret switch. Now, starting from this point on, there are going to be secret switches in most, if not all, levels. And it's if you want 100%, you need to get all of them. The great thing about them is that they uncover new, p uh, new places on the map, and also, they heal you. Plus, well, of course, they go towards your completion rating, so, heck, go for them. Really, there's nothing to lose. There's only stuff to gain. But yeah, that one was rather easy. All we had to do was find the extra doorway. Some of them in the future are going to be rather hard to actually get to. Because of you'll need a certain ability, or you have the ability, but then you'll lose it halfway through the stage. Or the, um, or the, um... The, the entrance to the bonus room will just be so well hidden that you won't even you'll be running all over the stage trying to think of where the heck could this be and it could be hidden in the background for all you know the way that you'll know if um, any of the secret switches are still in the stage and not hit so that you're you're still um, and the the way that you'll know is that the doors will continue to be like this one right here they'll have a red background and a yellow star unlike these ones that have a yellow background and a red star. Stages are um, are shown as being completed whenever they have a flag next to them. So if I don't get the um, if I don't get the, uh, the the secret switch in this stage, then the door will not change, but there will there will be a flag next to it. So I know that I am definitely not going to get all the secret switches on the first go round. So what I'm planning on doing is that I'm going to get through. Um, through a really good portion of the game, probably to right before the final boss, and then I'll go back to every single world and stage that I haven't got and uh, that I haven't gotten everything in, and then I will um, I'll just go ahead and uh, do an episode where all I do is just kind of do cleanup, kind of like what I did in um, in the Legend of Zelda. Um, I would get a really good way through the game, and then I would turn around and uh, and grab a few items and do some side quests and stuff. In this game, it's going to be kind of the same. I'm just going to go through the game as normal, and then I'll turn around and just kind of complete everything uh, once I get to a good enough stopping place. So yeah, we have a new ability here called Cutter. The Cutter Boomerang is coming right back at you. There's actually something rather uh, humorous about that, is the fact that uh, Kirby actually had an anime adaptation called Kirby Right Back At You. And um, it was... It, a lot of it actually ha was based on this game. Um, obviously, there were there were additional characters. Sometimes um, were there actually additional abilities? I'm not sure. Um, but a lot of it was um, is an adaptation of this game, which obviously, like I said in the last part, is a remake. But um, but yeah, a lot of the characters will still be there. A lot of the abilities will still be there. I'm not. Sh I haven't watched Kirby right back at you in a long time, so I don't know what the differences are between that ad between the anime adaptation and this game. All I know is that um, some of the same characters do appear in uh, in the anime. Some new characters, specifically for the anime, also appear in the anime. Duh. And um. And the copy abilities do make a return, so, um, so yeah. Actually, um, I believe that the, uh, Kirby Right Back At ya anime was airing about the time that this game came out, uh, in the early 2000s. Alright, got a new ability up here. Wait. Ice. First, I'll freeze him. Then, I'll kick him along. Brrrr! Now, you're probably wondering what the difference is between freeze and ice. Well, technically they do the same thing in terms of what they do to enemies. They'll freeze them, but 
um, in terms of how they do it, it's a little different. Ice Kirby has to uh, has to do Ice Breath by holding down the B button. However, um, uh, with Freeze Kirby, all he has to do is just press the B to uh, kind of have the kind of chilly aura around him. So yeah, that that's basically the only difference, really. Anyways, this is our uh, next mini boss called Bugsy, I believe his name is. And uh, when we defeat him, we'll get a new ability. Oh no! Ow! Pain and hurt. Backdrop! Waha! Once I grab a foe, throw him with the directional pad. All right, so because um the, because uh Kirby's Adventure was the first game to actually have um copy abilities, they. Obviously, they're not as... I mean, this Obviously, this is a remake, so they're going with the same kind of physics and logic here. Um, now, this might actually remind uh, fellow Kirby fans of another ability called Suplex, which uh, appeared, I believe, in uh, Kirby's, uh, Kirby's Superstar Ultra. But basically, it kind of does the same thing. Um, you'll see a lot throughout... I'm, I'll be playing other games in the series, and you'll see that a lot of the abilities will have either changed... Uh, over time, or they might have actually uh, combined two uh, two different ones together. Uh, for example, in one of the latest, whoops, in one of the most recent Kirby games, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, um, what they did with uh, with Needle is that they actually kept it. Uh, they actually added um, kind of a rolling sort of to it. So basically, they kind of combined uh, wheel to it as well. Uh, obviously, because um, time, because this series has grown so much, there's obviously going to be new abilities in the future with other games, and also some abilities that you'll see in this game will have changed into new abilities, such as um, as uh, backdrop becoming suplex. Ow! I just I just keep on taking hits left and right, but it's a good thing that I actually have six health rather than three. I'm sorry, I'm never gonna let it go, but oh my goodness, if if anyone, if any of you out there who uh, have actually played this game, you guys, if you actually know um, about extra mode or have played any extra mode in any Kirby game for that matter, you know how hard it can actually be, and what a relief it is to go back to playing as normal Kirby in normal mode. Let's see, I'm trying to find a specific doorway because it'll lead me to. Um, it'll lead me to another secret switch. As you saw there, my copy ability was completely gone after it smashed into those spikes. Let's see... I'll just go ahead and take ice with me. Get some freeze on. Wait, is this the stage that has the... the... Secret switch, or is that a, a different stage? I can't remember. Hey, a maxim a maxi tomato, so I, I won't complain. A lot better than a sharp stick in the eye. If I sound very excited, it's because I kind of am actually. This this game was a really fun one for my childhood, and I'm I'm glad that I get to play games on my uh on my TV because of uh my uh my Game Boy player. Also, if I sound a little different, it's because I actually have a new microphone. I decided to pick up a Blue Yeti microphone, which, trust me, is tons better than just using the built-in microphone that I have on my laptop. Obviously, the quality is a lot better, and obviously you don't hear as much background noise. Obviously, you're probably hearing just a slight bit of humming in the background due to, I don't know, the console going on, I'm being on, or maybe my computer being on, or maybe even it's the it's the fan in, in my room or something. I, I don't know, but regardless, I sound a lot better, and I'm glad that I picked up this microphone, and you guys are probably happy that uh, my audio quality has gone up, so yay! more minions of Mennonites. But I took care of them, as if they were nothing. NOTHING! What the? Aha! Ow! 
Those enemies right there, I believe, are called Gordos, and they are invincible, and they can sometimes be a pain, especially in terrain such as this. Alright, let me just check to see if I've gotten all the... Yep, all good. Still have 100% completion as of right now. Ooh. Spark, thank you. And... Invincibility! Woohoo! Oh wait, sorry, that, that's wrong character. <laughs> Trying to get rid of all of these... All these dudes. Aha! New mini boss. I was wondering when the next ability was going to come up. Oh, jeez. This uh, this mini boss's name is Bonkers, and as you can see, he is um, some sort of monkey or ape or something. And he throws coconuts. So watch out. Ow! And I missed too. Whoop. Aha! And we have a new ability: hammer. Pound them to the ground! Pound pegs and break open new areas! Hammer is definitely a fan favorite ability considering it is definitely one of the strongest of the entire series! Yeah, it's really powerful. Also, in this game, it's essential to have with you most of the time because, as you saw, I used a peg to, uh, to break open that kind of new uh, that area that was blocked off. Uh, like I said before, uh, Basically, um, let's see, what am I trying to say? Uh, hammer is really good to have with you because you can hammer pegs, and you can also break those steel blocks that I uh, mentioned before, because, yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, um, really powerful, and really good for explora uh, exploration. Blah, 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 blah. I can totally speak my own language. English, yes. Ha! Aha! No bombs going off for you today. <laughs> Froggy! I'm done with Sonic Adventure. It's all over now. I don't need frogs in my games. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. What a Wow, I'm surprised I made that. <laughs> Secret switch. Whoa, that was close on both ends. Got rocks falling from the ceiling, got a... Ouch. Got a, a sword guy uh, beside me. Alright, light. It's a one-time ability that allows you to, uh, bring light to dark rooms. Brighten those dark corners can only be I uh, can only be used once. So yeah, um, there's actually one room uh, later on in the game where having having the light ability is so helpful. But this one was basically just kind of to give you a taste of the power and um, and also to. Um, to just kind of show you what it does, and also to just kind of traverse the, the room a little bit, considering those walls were kind of everywhere, blocking off me from that extra life, that sweet, sweet extra life. How dare you, game designers? How dare you make things difficult? Nah, I'm just kidding. Now, if you're wondering why I keep on getting twos and threes, and not ones like I did the first time, it's because, well, to be honest, getting a one is actually kind of harder than you think it is. Alright, uh, alright, cool. Got all the stages done here, so off to the boss. Mr. Bright and Mr. Shine! Let's see, uh, Mr... Actually, I can't remember which one's which. 
You can probably just look it up on um, the Kirby Wiki or something. Man, all these bosses, I just keep on taking them down so easily. Alright, level four! Grape Garden! Um, hmm. Alright, one more stage, and then I'll call it for today. This level has really, really peaceful music. It's nice. Like I said, the, the music in Kirby has always been excellent. One of the reasons, I mean, obviously there are a lot of reasons why I've let's played the games that I have already, but one thing that I, I one thing that I really like about uh, about the Legend of Zelda, Sonic, and Kirby is that they all have really good music. It might be a little hard to hear the music over my uh, over my voice, uh, kind of covering up everything in the background. But really, I mean, if you take the time to actually listen to some of this music, it's really, really good. The Kirby music is uh, seems to be a lot more peaceful and calm, while the uh, the Legend of Zelda music is very epic, and um, and the Sonic music is uh, kind of rocking and makes things really cool. Oh, here we go! Throw! This is a new ability. So, throw. Um, yeah. Try throwing enemies straight. Press up and down, I up or down, to change the direction. So yeah, um, we would have actually gotten this from a mini-boss later on in the game called Fan Fan, which is an elephant. However, because I swallowed two Waddle D, I'm Waddle Doos, Waddle Ds, whichever one it is, um, because I swallowed both of them, they gave me the roulette. And because of the, I'm mean, because of the roulette being random, um, I then got a random ability, which in this case is throw. Oh wait, new ability, sleep. Do not disturb. I need my beauty rest. Okay, when Kirby sleeps, it is adorable, but we don't have time for that. And time for another roulette! Parasol! And that's the end of the stage! Whee! Oh man, a four? Wow, I am really off my game now. Alright, I think that's good for right now. So yeah! This has been, uh, this has been a lot of stuff going on in Kirby's, uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Thanks a lot for watching, I'm Crimson Nero, thank you very much for watching this episode, and until next time, everyone, fare thee well.